Hey guys, it's Drew here. So uh, I decided to do a pr my first prequel video. Uh, I filmed a video earlier today about me wrapping up a uh, Google Home Mini and um, just using some Trader Joe's bags. You'll see that in a minute there. But uh, so I decided to do a prequel to this because the video just didn't make sense the way it was. So what we're going to talk about today is January 27th, 2019. That's in two days. Today is January 25th, this evening. The postal rates are going up, if you didn't know this. Um, and they also went up last year, I believe. So I guess people, less people are just using the post office or something like that. So they keep raising rates, unfortunately. Or just things get more expensive. So here's right here where they're going to go. So um, uh, one ounce letter. Well, I'm assuming that's first class mail. That's going to go from 50 cents to 55 cents. So with the postage rates going up, if you guys want to save some money over time, you can buy what's called forever stamps. And that locks in the price of the postage. So you can buy the forever stamps right now for 50 cents. And if postage goes up 10 years from now or more in the next couple of years, you will still have paid that 50 cents and you'll get the value of 55 cents. The thing the post office is hoping is that you're going to lose those stamps or not use them over time. Um, and so if you buy a big book of them, you do save money. The question is, is it really worth storing those stamps for that amount of time for a mere five cents? Although the postage did go up last year as well. I think it went from 46 cents to 50 cents. So uh, yeah, so you can buy forever stamps and that'll save you from the increase happening. You have to buy them before January 27th. But so when you're watching this video, it'll probably have already happened. Just a little tip there. Let's get back to the video. Um, and then additional ounces, 21 cents. Uh, it says proposed 15 cents. So I don't know whether they're reducing that. It, I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Letters metered one ounce, 47 cents to 50 cents. It's going up three cents there. Outbound international letters, still $1.15. Domestic postcards are going to stay 35 cents. Small flat rate box. This is where it sucks because these are the most common postage things I use, uh, that you will use. That's going to go from $7.20 to $7.90. The medium flat rate box is going from $13.65 to $14.35. Of course, if you use eBay, you get a little discount there. Uh, the large flat rate box is going to go from $18.90 to $19.95. Okay, the APO, AFPO large flat rate box is going to go from $17.40 to $18.45. Regular flat rate envelope is going to go from $6.70 to $7.35. The legal flat rate envelope is going to go from $7 to $7.65. And the padded flat rate envelope is going to go from $7 to $8. So that's a 75 cent increase there. So wow, prices are really going up. Inflation is starting to show. Um, anyway, but uh, so I thought I'd show this that they're, they're going up. And towards the end of this video, I did some editing. Uh, I showed you what it costs to mail a Google Home Mini before these increased rates. And I wasn't quite sure how the post office works. Uh, I, You know, I'm just not a big letter mailer. I'm not a big package mailer myself. Anytime I've done it on eBay, I've used a flat rate box. Um, apparently, if it's 13 ounces or less, you can mail it first class mail as a package. If it's more than 13 ounces, this is what the guy at the post office told me, you have to mail it. Uh, priority mail or uh, parcel or something, something more. You can't send it first class if it's more than 13 ounces as a package. If you guys have heard something different, please let me know on the video. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, I ended up spending a little more than I thought sending these packages off. They, I, I had signatures on them, obviously, uh, because I wanted people to sign the Google Home Minis are worth anywhere from 35 to $50. And I didn't want them to be misplaced. So, okay, so in the video uh, after this, you'll see me messing around with Trader Joe's and how to wrap those. So let's get to that and uh, check out the end of the video and you'll see what it costs to mail something in early 2019 before the postage rates change. Uh, a Google hey guys, it's Drew here. So um, just thought of a random video. Uh, I haven't posted in a while, sorry. I just haven't felt like posting videos. That's, it's crazy, but sometimes you just don't. So, uh, hey, anyway, <clears throat> I'm posting one today. I got an idea for one. I've got a scratchy voice. I've been kind of sick. Um, so I'm mailing off the uh, Google Home Minis, uh, three of them, to uh, Tim, Balitra, and AR. 
And I'm sorry about the delay, guys. Like I said, I've just been frustrated. I hate mailing stuff. So, <laughs> so this is for you guys. I really hate mailing stuff. Let me tell you why. Because, of course, you could spend a ton on postage and just throw it in a uh, priority mail box thingy. But um, I'm deciding to go a different route. And um, so I was thinking, like, oh, gosh, do I have to buy brown paper to wrap these things and mail them and see the postage? And I was like, where can I find some brown paper? So I have... I shop at Trader Joe's a lot. We have a Trader Joe's here in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, and they give you these paper bags. They're environmentally safe, you know. Sometimes you use them as trash bags and all that. So, uh, I cut one up and uh, turned it around, and we're going to use it as wrapping paper for my Google, for the Google Home Minis, and it will fit. So, um, I, you know, without I'll show you guys the finished product once I get it done. But, um, yeah, so lo and behold... Um, Using uh, just a couple scissors, just cutting it out. It should be pretty obvious how to cut it out. You just make a big flat thing like this. And then you've got your wrapping paper for small items. Um, or you could even just uh, probably cut the side of it out. Anyway, so brown paper for mailing. Use a Trader Joe's bag. <clears throat> There's your hack of the month, I guess, because I haven't posted any recently. But, uh, all right, guys. Well, just so you know, I'm getting on this. And uh, Belitra, Tim, and AR... I'm um, going to be trying to mail these out today or tomorrow, and they should be on their way. And, uh, hey, comment. Uh, you guys comment just to know you watch this so you know your package is on the way. Um, it's always nice to know somebody is watching. <laughs> I know I know AR is watching, um, but uh, Tim and Belitra, if you see this video, just comment below and say, hey, looking forward to getting my package, and um, we'll see you guys soon. This guys, thanks. So, guys, it's taken me about 45 minutes to wrap Two of these, and they look like suspicious packages. This is awful, but I'm going to see if the post office will take them. So, uh, Belitra, Tim, and AR, if you're watching this, I'm going to send these certified mail, so you'll have to sign for them. <clears throat> I probably should have just put them in a regular box instead of paying the 2 or $3 for certified mail. I don't know. I just don't like buying boxes for shipping stuff. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so, you'll have to sign for these when you get them. Also, I don't want anybody snatching them off your porch, but um, these look horribly wrapped i'm sorry guys <laughs> uh, and i got one more left to go um ar yours is heading to california so i may send that in a um priority mailbox because you're a lot further out i don't know if there's a postage difference or not and i still have to finish this edge here so um guys using a trader joe's bag works but um you have to be fairly skilled and that i am not with wrapping packages or presents so uh, this is Drew with Drew's Quick Mixes and Hacks, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, this is your hack of the day. And uh, showing me sending these off to my winners of my contest. And um, I'm going to have to find another way to send free stuff because this is just, this is bad. But thanks for watching, guys. Love you all as viewers. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, I may have further giveaways in the future when I hit certain subscriber numbers. Um, but... Um, I'm going to find, I'm going to probably buy some boxes to put these in because this is awful. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one. Uh, you guys, Belitra, Tim, and uh, AR, comment when you see this video so you know it's on the way. Thanks. Hey, guys, I'm back. Uh, so I decided to add a little bit onto this video here. Uh, so even though we learned how to use a Trader Joe's bag as wrapping paper, it turned out to be kind of pointless. <laughs> so I went to the post office, and it turns out that um, that bag that I added on the outside actually added one ounce to the package. So it made it more than 13 ounces. Uh, apparently the Google uh, Home Mini is like 12.6 ounces is what it weighed uh, with, with the priority mail package. So to mail it to California, it's 845. And then I put a $3 signature on there. Because I didn't want, uh, I want to make sure those that I know you guys got the package. Um, <clears throat> so to mail it within North Carolina, believe it or not, two of the, two of the people were actually within North Carolina. Um, it was six seventy. So um, I still don't understand postage that much, but um, basically, I guess you can't mail priority mail without. Uh, are you if something is over thirteen ounces, you can't mail it first class mail. I didn't know that. They make you use priority mail or some other form of mail. So it's expensive to mail stuff. Um, I'm not sure, you know, uh, they really plug the flat rate priority boxes, although those are like, 
anywhere from uh, seven to ten bucks. I don't know. The price is actually going up next week. Postage is going up next week. So I got these out just in time for my um, for my viewers. And uh, all right, so there you go. But um, yeah, it was kind of pointless to wrap it. I ended up putting it in a Priority Mail envelope anyway, and um, it was not a flat rate envelope because it's one was six seventy within North Carolina. And then the California was 845. It's a little bit confusing. But guys, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned because I might have some more giveaways. And now that I sort of know how the mail works, I'll be giving away more stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. And I hope uh, at least maybe if you're going to wrap a birthday present, you can use a Trader Joe's bag. <laughs> thanks, guys.